Hello my YouTube lovelies and yes I am back. Um, I have some other stuff to show but I didn't want to include that in this for VIB haul. So I said I'm going to just record another video so you know you're going to see me again in this little top. Yeah. <laughs> but let's not do all the jibber jabber. Let's just get right into the haul. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is this organizer that I purchased from Sunny Cosmetics. Now, I am so used, to, well, not so used to, but I just, just know, call it Sunny Cosmetics uh, was the right thing to do. Sony Cosmetics was the right thing to do, and I was wrong. I did a video back in April, um, on Sunny Cosmetic Organizers and I showed you guys the ones that I bought for my brushes and the ones I bought for my blushes. Blushes and brushes. But my dilemma is, okay, so I don't do my makeup every day here in my space um, because I don't have time in the morning. Sometimes if I do have enough time where I can get up and do my makeup in the bathroom, then I will do that. Well, get up and do my makeup, I'll do it in the bathroom because that's the only place I can really do it because I don't have the time to sit here and reach for this and reach for that like I do when I sit here and I do my makeup. And generally when I sit here in my vanity, I take my time. So I bought this organizer and they were having a sale so I took advantage um so this will go in the bathroom and this will be strictly for whatever i put in there for the week so whatever i need to grab it'll all be in there and this is the rose gold i think it's supposed to be the vanity topper i don't know what it's called what the technical name is called because it's not on here but this is a great thing to have in the bathroom. I could put my foundation, powder, eyeshadow, eyeshadow palettes, the lipstick, the lip gloss, the brushes, the primer, whatever I need to do my makeup and whatever I may say, okay, this is what I'm gonna use for the week. So we'll just keep it all in there and we'll just stay in the bathroom. And yeah, and then I won't have to keep running back in here like I do sometimes when I do my makeup sometimes when I do my makeup in my vanity sometimes I run back and forth to the bathroom don't ask me why I do that I think it's too because of my lighting situation because I still don't have adequate lighting here in my makeup area I know it's it's taking me forever so um that's why sometimes I'll do my makeup in the bathroom or sometimes I'll sit here and do it and then I may need to go to the bathroom for like the light or whatever it's annoying. I just can't wait to get. I'll be honest with you. The reason why my lighting is not set up is because I'm actually trying to move. So that's why I don't want to even bother to put the mirror or the lights up. Because I have the mirror and the lights here. But I just don't want to do that. Especially when I'm trying to move and I don't want to have to deal with all the whatever um, to put them up and then take them down. So that's the only reason why I haven't put my lighting up yet. And, and on top of that, I haven't been able to find anybody to help me put it up. So maybe it's just not worth it. So that's why I do things the way I do things. So yeah, this is why I got this. And I only pay $19.99 for this because this one was on sale, which is not a bad price. And, you know, I like the Sunny Cosmetics organizers because they're sturdy they're like really really heavy but they're sturdy so they're very durable which i love and i love the two that i purchased back in april um i had posted pictures on instagram and people were going nuts like oh my god i need to get these you know if again if you're looking for some good organizers check them out because they're the bomb.com Okay, the next thing that I purchased. Julia's Place Saharan 2. Uh, I wasn't going to get it. I Believe it or not, 
I was not gonna get this one because like at, at one point I felt oh my god all these colors they're starting to look alike oh my god just let's talk about this packaging you see what color this is what color is that it's purple that's my favorite color right yeah okay so but then you know one of my makeup sisters she convinced me it's her fault that I bought it and it's it's not oh my goodness Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, yeah, look at these, look at these down here. These these four colors are what intrigues me. Um, The blues, meh. Maybe this one. I don't know about that one, unless you use that as an inner tear duct color for this one. This color, these two colors again, you could use that as a, but this, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm making too much into it because you know, before you know it, I'll be done created a whole look using all the colors or putting them all together. Even though they don't intrigue me. But, but y'all know I love Juvia's Place. But, you know, I guess maybe it just came to time. Okay, well, she's got all the Juvia's Place and maybe she needs to stop. Well, I didn't stop. I went and I got it. So now I have every single one of those Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. Next up, I went to the beauty supply store. Um, I don't remember which beauty supply store I went to, but I found these lashes. You guys know. As a matter of fact, I found these lashes. Let me back up a little bit here. And I bought more of these. You guys, I showed you these in a prior video. And this lash, this is the Blair Lash. And, and they're only $5.99, guys, these. This, when I wore the, I killed this lash. And I wore this lash till I couldn't wear it no more. Just like the Cecile lash, till it fell apart. So luckily, wherever I was, I went. I just went to the beauty supply store and I saw them and I grabbed them. So I grabbed two of these pair. Should've grabbed more. But then I saw, I was like, oh, they have mink lash inspired ones in this series. So, I was like, let me just get two of those, and I'll just grab one of these, and I'm going to try these. Now, these can be used up to 25 times. This is the Mink Lash Inspired one by V-Lux in Pearl, and I can't wait to use it. So, yeah. going to give this one a try, see? Okay, so... I kind of mentioned in the last haul, especially for the Sephora VIB haul, that I'm kind of falling head over heels for Tarte. I'm starting to really get into Tarte. Um, I own now three eyeshadow palettes from them, two mini ones and one full-sized one. And I also own a few of their lip products, which are very good. In matter of fact, no, this isn't it. This is this is spite from um this is spite from Mac. But there's the lip gloss from Tarte, which is kind of like this one, which is my favorite nude. So it's my other one in addition to this one. But last year, um, I don't know what video I did, but I talked about a particular sponge. And the reason why I was able to find the sponge or knew about the sponge was because I watched Nikki tutorials. Now, if none of you are following her, I need y'all to follow her. She's the bomb.com. So she uses sponge in her videos. I went on a massive hunt for this sponge. And it was by Tarte. And it was called the Quickie Blending Sponge. And you could only get it at Ulta. I'm coming to find out, you can only get it at Ulta. I luckily was able to find one. After that, I wasn't able to find it again. So, lo and behold, I'm watching one of her videos one night, and here again, she pulls out another blending sponge. I was like, what is that? And it's by Tarte. And I'm like, but you're giving it the same name? So what? Who cares? Well, I've been looking all over, and I went on the Sephora website. I went in a few Sephora's. So then I was like, okay, they're doing what they did with the last one. It's only going to be available at Ulta. I can't even tell you how many Ultas that I went to trying to find this. I went to the one closest to me. I went to another one. 
So I ended up getting this one when I went to my old to visit my hometown um, in New York and Long Island, and I went to the altar out there, and I found it. I know it was such a long story for for just one item. So this is the quickie, the newer quickie blending sponge. I guess this is the one they're coming out with for the year. I haven't used it yet, but I like the Tarte sponges because they're a lot, they're very thick and they're dense. And they're great for blending out cream products. Um, so is the beauty regular beauty blender, but it's just something about the tart ones. Like, yeah, they're they're something special. And this one, I can't. I don't know where I did. Well, I don't know where my other one is. I might have to find the other one um, if I can. Let me hold on. Okay, so this is the sponge from last year, and I love this daggone sponge. Um, it's very, very dense. It is a little hard to clean because, you know, you got to really get in it to get all the product out of it. But I love this sponge. Like, it just blends. Like, if you use cream foundation, it's just the way. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. So, when Tarte came out with this one, I was like, I need to get that one too. I'm mad that I couldn't get any more of these last year because I really wanted these for my kit. But... So, and same thing with this. This is hard to find, and I was able to find one. And the the Tarte sponges range at $16, but the best thing about it is they're purple. <laughs> so they already knew. Well, Katrina likes purple, so we just going to make them purple for her. Yeah. That's what they going to do. <laughs> So, yeah, that's the story behind the sponge. And now, the next thing that I purchased, uh, um, actually made a purchase at Ulta.com. I've been wanting to try these shadows since I first heard about them. But I was like, you know me, I like to go to the store and look at them. Well, every time I would go to an Ulta, I could never find one. And if I did see one, it's cracked up and all broken up and all in pieces on the display. And I'd just be like, hmm, yeah, no. Then I'd go to Sephora. I don't even see them in the store. Now, they have them online, but they don't have them in the store. So this one particular day I was at work. I'm always at work shopping. And I was on the Ulta website. And I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and order a few of these. The reason why I ordered them from Ulta was because Ulta seems to carry more colors than the Ulta website seems to carry more colors than the Sephora website. And there's, yeah, that's a no-brainer. Not to mention that when you spend a certain amount of money, you got a free gift. So I said, Ulta it is. So, I purchased three of the... Tartiest metallic shadows. I'm so dying for these. I got Genie, I got Grind, and I got Scarlet. So let's see. Let's see. This now this is the pack. Well now look. All of these that they're, they're in the same type of packaging, but the design on are they all different? Let's see. Are they all different? Let's just make sure before I before I go on. Okay, two of them have the same design, and another, and another one has a different design. So you see, two of these shadows have the same design on the packaging, and then this one has like a different little print on there, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and I like the packaging because it's the little cardboard packaging, and it's magnetic. And it has a little mirror in the shadow. So, oh, and I just dropped a little eyeshadow protector where I don't know where it went. Oh, oh here it is in my lap. <laughs> so this one is called Grind. This is like a taupey silver. Let me just swatch it. This is, oh, man. Yeah, 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 that's about right. That's about right. Can you see it? Oh my God, that's about right. And I lightly touched it. That's about right. Mm-hmm, that's about right. 
That's about right. Like I told y'all, I am in love with Tarte's eyeshadows. I have seriously developed an obsession with their eyeshadows. But for whatever reason, other than the one full-size palette, I I refuse to buy the full-size palette. I always get the mini ones. Why not? So the scar this is scarlet. Oh, this is like a plum, metallic plum, burgundy plum. Let's see. So, what? Whoa. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm keeping calm. And the last one that I bought was Genie. And this is like a, where's this cover, little cover over here. Let me move my finger. <laughs> Ugh. Did you not see that? Like, Yeah. Mm. Mm. <sighs> they need to come out with more colors of these. And yeah, they just I like these. I really like these. But for purchasing them and spending $35 on Ulta.com, I got this free mug and I still have it in the bubble wrap. And it's good because I got eyeshadow all over my hand. And it says, perk up and pretty. I don't know if you could see that. And it's got tart on it. Oh my God, I can't wait to use my cup. I am not leaving this on my vanity. I will be using this for my tea. Yes, and thank you very much. Yep, that's it. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is Mac. I only got three things. Shocking. Dropping stuff. Okay, so the first thing I got is my staples. I had to re up on my Pro Long Wear Concealer NC45. I was running low, so I just went ahead and re upped on this because y'all know this is my jam. And the other things that I, two other things that I purchased were two of the new Grand Illusion liquid lip colors. Now I got intrigued by these. Um, I went to Macy's. <laughs> I was laid on the ball. Now I should know better. Um, as far as the holiday collections, I should just know. Just, let me just stop thinking that I'm gonna get what I want to get when I want to get it because that's not true. Um, I slept on the single eyeshadows. I've been to I don't know how many matte counters they were all sold out. They said they sold out within like the same day, two, three days. I should have known better. But I was like, I'm not going to get them. I should have got them. Do I regret it? Not really. This is not like I need another eyeshadow. Whatever. There's always God willing next year. So I got these liquid lip colors. Now these things are in the same packaging as the liquid lipsticks, the retro matte liquid lipsticks. But um, I picked up two colors and I saw this one. This is called Space Bubble. Now, I was just so intrigued when I was in the store. I was like, let me have them. But instead of trying them on in the store, I just said, give me those, put them in my bag, and let me go home. Well, now I like these, don't get me wrong, but they have like this tingling. They have like this tingling, you know, like the plumping, you know, like the plumping lipsticks or lip glosses. They have that tingling. This thing has that same thing. And I don't like that, but they're just so pretty. So this is space bubble. What's going on? Hey. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> that thing is pretty. That will look nice over on top of something. That will definitely look nice on top of something. Um, yeah, so I got that, um, in that color. And then the 
other one that I got was called Sensory Overload. And this is what. Woo! What? Yes. Yes, yes. So this is what this one. Y'all already know what time it is with this color. Baby, come through here with that. Come through here with that. Come through here with that. So, what? So, yeah, that's space bubbles and that sensory overload. Man, listen, look at that here. You put that on top of a purple, it's on. It's on and popping. What? What? On and popping. Yeah. All right, guys. So, thank you so much, as always, for watching. Um, let me know what you guys got. Like, did you get anything? Or, like, go on over to my Sephora VIB haul, um, video and let me know what you got from the haul. I really want to know. Or, like, what new things have you picked up? What new things should I, uh, look into? I, sh I will say this. Um, be on the lookout, guys, for the holiday collections. And I'm not talking about Mac. And some of the ones that are already releasing, like the ones that are coming out after Christmas, NARS, they're coming out with a new eyeshadow palette, Sweet Baby Jesus. And I believe Too Faced, I don't know, no, I think NARS is coming out after Thanksgiving, and I believe the Too Faced one is coming out after Christmas. I'm not sure, but be on the lookout for those palettes. I don't know which one of them I'm gonna get. I don't know if I'm gonna get both of them. But I'm like, I thought I thought I was done. Like with this, I thought I was done, but I'm not done. I'm not done. So yeah. Uh be on the lookout for that, guys. But thank you so much again for watching. Um, and I will see you in the next video.